Okay, guys, so my final thoughts. I love this band. Like, I really love it. It's really multifunctional and it does everything that it says it will do and it does it really, really well. The question is, do I still feel the same way? And I can say yes, but also no. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why. First off, let me show you what my pan looks like after six months. As you can see, especially the bottom shows a lot of wear especially in the area where it touches the flame. I think this is pretty normal. And if you have like a lighter colored pan, this is inevitable pretty much. So I got a couple of new stains recently and I'm not sure why I haven't been able to clean them, but they kind of ruin my mood a little bit. I don't know. It's just annoying. I'm not sure what it is. On the inside, it looks pretty good. I would say there is a little bit of discoloration here. But overall, no major damage, no scratches or anything. It looks in pretty good shape, I would say. So since I filmed this, I've used the pan a couple more times and I feel like some additional discoloration popped up. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but here's a close-up for you guys. I've definitely followed all the recommendations for cleaning it. I've only hand washed it and I've never used any metal utensils on the pan or near the pan. So, and I think this is very important in order to keep it in good shape. Is it still as non-stick as it was in the beginning? To be 100% honest and transparent, no, it is not. All ceramic pans that I have used in the past have the tendency to get less and less non-stick the more you use them and wash them until they reach a point where they're basically unusable. The Always Pan is still non-stick for the most part, but it's definitely not where it was when I first started using it. I would say it's definitely more prone to sticking now after six months. When I first got it, I was able to fry an egg without any oil and without any sticking, and I wanna try that again today. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stick, but let's try it now. I still really like this pan and I will definitely continue using it as long as I can. One thing that I really like about this pan and something that has not changed is how quickly it gets hot and how evenly it cooks everything. It's also really light compared to say a cast iron pan. Now I've watched other reviews for this pan and I can say it's definitely not for everyone. If you have a big family and you wanna cook a meal for like eight people, it's definitely not for you. But in my opinion, it's perfect for two to four people. Also, if you cook a lot of dishes that require food to be seared in the pan first and then finished in the oven, this pan is not a good choice because it's not oven safe. For me personally, that's not a problem. I don't usually cook dishes like that, but if you do, this is one thing to consider. And I realize it can be a big disadvantage to some people. Another thing that honestly has never been a problem for me, but I know it's a common complaint and I would say it's kind of a design flaw, has to do with this handle on this side. People tend to wanna grab it because they feel like it's a continuation of the main handle. And this handle is not heat proof, so it gets really, really hot and people tend to like get burned when they hold on to it. The company clearly says that this is the only place where you can safely hold it, but I totally get it. I mean, it can definitely be misleading. Would I still recommend the OS ban? And my answer is yes, but because I like the aesthetic of it and I also like what the company stands for, they have some quick snippets of information on their mission page, but the majority is actually on the FAQ page. You can read more about their practices, 
So they say they ensure that their factories pay above living wages, have benefits, and workers are treated with respect. And they validate that through factory visits, interviews with workers, and also third-party independent audits. And they also have a link here to a page that talks more in depth about the factories that they work with to produce some of their products, which I think is really cool. Sustainability is also discussed on the FAQ page. They say their glasses are made from a portion of recycled glass, natural sand, and the OAS pan itself is made partially from recycled materials. Their packaging is also 100% free of plastics and fully recyclable and biodegradable. I've also purchased a dining set from them, which comes with plates, bowls, and glasses, and absolutely love it. To be honest, I've never liked spending a lot of money on basic things, but lately I've been more and more concerned about how businesses treat their employees and the environment and how sustainable they are. And I find myself more and more willing to spend extra money for businesses that are being responsible and have sustainable products. I completely understand that this is a privilege and I'm not judging anyone who's not in a position to make this choice, but if you are, I think it's worth supporting local smaller businesses with sustainable practices who care about the environments and care about their workers. I am personally happy to pay a higher price for that. With that being said, if you are looking for a great deal, longevity and durability, I would not recommend the OAS Pan. A 99% sure it's not gonna last you even a couple of years. Even if you are following the instructions and you're doing everything right, I think ceramic pans are just not made to last that long. If you are looking for a great value and a pan that will last you a lifetime, I would recommend getting a cast iron pan. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I try to be completely honest and transparent with you. As I said, I still really like the OAS pan, but there are definitely some issues with it that I noticed over the last six months and I wanted to make this update so I can let you guys know what I think and how my experience has been. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps me and my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you are into healthy lifestyle, wellness and product reviews. I try to post every single week and I would love to have you guys on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.